What's up, everyone? It's Matt from Mask Audio. I'm here with Blake from Yamaha, and we are talking about the state of the montage in 2018 at NAMM. And uh, the state is good. We have a great update, yeah. right? That's right. So this is like the fourth major update for the montage firmware. This is version 2.0, OS version 2.0. Um, and every single one of our um, releases that we've done, we always do things in sound, workflow, and, um, and just ease of use and just things to get around. So okay. first thing, let's talk about sound. The great thing, We've always had all of the Motif XF voices inside of Montage. They appear as single part performances. Okay. Well, now we have the ability to load in the performances as well from the Motif and Mo XF. Wow. So you have these great performances, like this one I used to use all the time. This. That's straight out of a Motif XF. Yeah. But the thing that's really interesting, and I just saw, I saw Cassandra here a while ago. Cassandra O'Neill is going to be playing for us, and she used to play with Prince. And one of the things that Cassandra pointed out, she called me the other day and she said, you know, I love my Motif XF, and that full concert gram is such a go-to sound for me. Yeah, yeah. Well, she said, but now now she's got the Montage, you know, when I play it, I feel like everything just sounds fuller and richer and better. I go, yeah, that's the better DAX, the better DSP. Well, it's the same thing with these performances, and they're very, very... They just sound a lot nicer. But the thing that's cool is that you can you can now montageify them. You yeah, can yeah. bring them into this dynamic control service that we call motion control. Super knob it. Yep. So and and there's some great things about super knob that you'll see here in the thing. That's part of the 2.0 up. So I'll take this down here and I'll just solo out this. So let's say I just want to assign the super knob to control the filter. Now okay. before that was kind of a two-level thing. You have to assign it at the top. And, well now it's just I go in here. I select this part and I find where the filters are, and the filters are right here. So there's my cutoff frequency. Now as soon as I select a parameter that is assignable, that control assign button lights up. So if I just want to assign this, I just hit control assign. Well right away there's some new things if you've used Montage before that shows the control assign. You can now jump directly to the assignment for the motion sequencer and the envelope follower. Okay. But in this case I just want to put it on the super knob. So I hit control assign, move the super knob, and I have now assigned it. It's just that fast. Wow. So it's a lot easier to do these things. And again, you're listening to an art from a... So you can hear this filter moving on the super knob. They've made that extremely easy. What we like to call it, it's, it's like having wormholes yeah, yeah. in the quantum universe of the montage. If I want to get from here to here, before I had to go you know, through all Here's these ways. Menus, yeah. Now it's right there. Touch so it's, what you want, map so what you want. Very easy to That's do. That's awesome. Now, some other use case things on this. Let's say I want to go over here, I'll go to my live set again, and I'm going to grab some of the new montage content. One of the things that we added here is a single part CFX piano. For those of us that like 17 layers. Yeah, well, we have, the, we have the multi part that has a, it's, a, it's probably a little bit more, uh, wider dynamic range because yeah. you have four parts for the single piano sound. This one is one part, but it's a great sound of piano. Yeah. And it's easier to kind of use it if you want to use it multi-camerally, yeah, where I want yeah. piano one and two. Well, let's say, well, one of the things, especially in the worship community that, that they like to be able to do is be able to have some uh, layers and things, but do, to be able to assign that quickly. Yeah. And you can always do that. You can always use the part controls here, but then you have to move your hand to move the parts. Well, if I just yeah. want to assign that to the super knob, again, it's easy to do. So I go here, I have my single part piano, I touch on that second part, and I know the thing I want to find here is a string sound, I'll use this ballad strings. So I've got ballad strings sitting right here. Now I want to assign that to the super knob, edit. That's just a part control, edit. So I'm here at the very part control. There's the value. I'll turn it all the way down, press control assign. That's now assigned. So my super knob, which is assigned down here. And of course, my... you can map the super knob to the control pedal, right? So you can keep your hands on there. So it's, there it is right here. Yeah. Now, another cool thing, let's say I want to take this sound here. I want to add a choir to it. But in this case, I want the motion to be a little different. I'd like it so that it's quiet here, it comes up here, and then it fades out okay. in a turn. So I change what how that motion yeah. is. So I'll go in here and I'll grab the one I'm looking for in particular is one that's called Ooh Choir. So I just type in Ooh. I use that the, the category search. search that makes it way yep. easier to find stuff. There's Ooh Choir. Edit. Again, the part settings. Assign it to the volume. Now it's going to take me directly to the page where those curve types are set up. So I just use it maybe a trapezoidal curve. So that has that motion that I'm looking for. And it's I can see it in kind of a graphic way where it's going to get, it's nothing here. It's the stop and we get at the bottom. 
then get I'm in a weird position. So there's So as I move it to the top, you'll hear the choir fade out here and the strings are coming up. So you can use like inverse parameter mappings yeah. to morph between these layers. Yep, and you can do this before. The thing about here is just being able to get to it so fast. Yeah, yeah, now it's easy. And it makes it much easier just to move around and get to things. Um, so basically, that, th those are kind of the main things. New sounds, Motif XF performance compatibility, lots of cool usability things that allow you to find stuff. And then some of the other things that we have that we're announcing at the NAMM show, one of them is the Milis editor and librarian. Okay. We have the John Milis tools that we have for the Motif XF, and MoX7 and stuff. Well, now we have them available for the montage. Oh, so if you want great. a nice graphical editor where you can do everything, if you're into doing edits, we have the new Milis tools okay. for that. The other thing that we're announcing is Sample Robot. Sample Robot um, is a very cool piece of software that essentially, if you hook up a MIDI and audio interface to any MIDI and audio devices, and in our case, we have an old Yamaha CS15 over there. Yeah. We have a Kenton CD to uh, MIDI converter. So he has MIDI control. We have an audio interface because yeah. this is the audio interface. Yes. And what Sample Robot does, you set up in a wizard. You say, I want to sample every note maybe, and I want to sample it this long. How I many layers of velocity? Long. Yeah, you set it up in a wizard, and then you hit go, and Sample Robot does it all for you and creates the key mapping and the layering, and you just load this So file. it's super accurate because yep. you don't need to worry about how hard you hit the key. It's going to just it trigger it for you automatically. You can set that all and sample how many samples per note you want. And I can go upstairs and have a, have a snack while it uh, while it does its thing. It's a very cool piece of right. and, and actually, Christian Hampton is right there. That's the guy who wrote it. Okay. And if you, you can interview him, I'm sure, yeah, if you yeah. wanted to have more things. But that's what Sample Robot does. It's a very cool So we'll be able to take, you know, all those vintage synths that we got lying around and just bring them right, yeah. right onto the montage. Kind of like that vintage synth that we found CS3 CS3. three weeks ago. <laughs> that's amazing. That we have this very cherry CS80 over here. Yeah, so yeah. with a MIDI kit that I think we're planning on installing, maybe we'll have some CS80 yeah. libraries from our beautiful CS80, so. That'd be great. Well, it sounds like it's a good time to uh, have a montage. Oh, yeah, man. It's always a good time to have a All right, well, I hope you guys have a great NAMM. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Blake. Thanks a lot, man. Good Thanks. to see you.